How many people here make a backup of their file? Everybody? Oh, my God, I don't think I've ever had 100%. <laughs> but regularly. <laughs> so you should make a backup of your file whenever you feel like you've entered enough stuff that you don't want to have to go back and enter it all again if something should happen. So for me, you know, if I was doing this personally, I know I can get three months of bank history on my bank. So if all else fails, if I haven't done it for three months, I know I could probably go back and get at least that much. Beyond that, it would be, you know, a chore. And do I really want to have to re-enter all that? No, I'd probably do it anytime, you know, once a month or anytime I did a lot of work in it, maybe make an effort to do an extra one. Um, good idea to put it on a stick, not on your same computer that you have the file on. Um, so. Everybody knows how to make a backup, put it on the stick, and restore it to the same place that it's currently in so that you don't have multiple files. And I'm not getting an answer, Joe. I'm not sure. I feel like I usually save it in the same place as my other files, but I don't think I go through the process of restoring it each time. Well, you don't have to restore it each time unless you're, you know, unless you give it to your accountant and they've made some changes that you want to restore. And when you do restore your file, it should be telling you that you're you're going to overwrite. Do you want to overwrite? Yes. Because otherwise you're going to end up with more than one working file on your computer and there's just too much of a chance that you'll get into the wrong file and do a bunch of transactions and it's not the right file. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have two running. So once you make your backup, and I think everybody here, I'm not sure on the web, if they all know how to make a backup, but it's under File, Create Backup, and you want a local backup, and you want to tell it where to go, where you want that backup to go. I don't have a stick in. I would just use my desktop for right now. Hit OK. It's going to tell me that it's in the same spot as my working copy, and then I can save it now. I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to cancel, but that would put the backup on the desktop. Then when I want to go back and restore it, if I open or restore the company and restore the backup, If I was going to restore this, this is where mine is right now. If I want to override this, one thing that the new one thing that the new um, Windows is doing is usually when you have a file, this read only would be checked, and now if this is checked, it won't allow you to overwrite it. It'll give you an error, so you want to go in and uncheck that box. And the way that I did that is on this working file right here. And I know that's a working file because right here it says it's the company file. I just right click, go down to properties, and this is where that comes up. And this would be clicked. So I want to make sure that's unclicked. Anyway, if I hit save, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. And I do. And if it's not asking you that, then you're adding another working file onto your computer. You're not overwriting the existing. So now on this one, I knew where the working file was. If I don't know where it is, if I go up under File and Open Previous Company, this first line is the file that I currently have open. So it gives me the path to where my working file is. So that's a good way to tell where your working file is. This would also tell you if you have more than one working file on your computer. Now there is different types of backups that you can do. The one I showed you is a full backup. There's a portable company, an accountant's copy. A portable company gives you everything that you need. It doesn't give you quite everything that's there. 
some background stuff doesn't come through, but it's a smaller file. So if you're uploading to a portal and you need a smaller file to upload that doesn't take so much time, a portable company would be a good option. An accountant's copy lets you set kind of a break date in who gets to work on what part of the file. So in an accountant's copy that I might receive, it might be dated January 1st, 2012. I can work on anything before that, and the client can continue to work on anything after that. So I'm not holding them up. As I'm doing my work, my year-end work, they can continue working. So when I'm done, I would just make the accountant's changes and send it to them, and then that incorporates back into their working file. We're going to skip that Wagner CPAs portal page. 